Politico reports that President Barack Obama's aides, caught between their boss's anti-lobbyist rhetoric and the reality of governing, often steer meetings with lobbyists to a complex just off the White House grounds, and several of the lobbyists involved say they believe the choice of venue is no accident. It allows the Obama administration to keep these lobbyist meetings shielded from public view and out of secret service logs collected on visitors to the White House and later released to the public. Immigration reform lobbyist Tamar Jacoby, who has attended meetings at the nearby Jackson Place complex, says, quote, They're doing it on the side. It's better than nothing. The White House scoffs at the notion of an ulterior motive for scheduling meetings off campus, but at least four lobbyists who've been to the conference rooms told Politico they had had the distinct impression they were being shunted off to Jackson Place and off the books so their visits wouldn't later be made public. Obama's administration has touted its release of White House visitors' logs as a breakthrough in transparency, as the first White House team ever to reveal the comings and goings around the West Wing and the old executive office building. But the Jackson Place townhouses are a different story. There are no records of meetings at the White House Conference Center and the Council on Environmental Quality, home to two of the busiest meeting spaces. The White House can't say who attended meetings there or how often. The Secret Service doesn't log in visitors or require a background check the way it does at the main gates of the White House. The White House says the additional meeting space is used when the White House is filled or when there's no time to clear participants through the security screening. And to be sure, a few lobbyists contacted by Politico said they didn't see any hidden motive for the White House staff's decision to hold a meeting there.